Welcome to podcast number 12. It's 12, yay! We're coming to you from the bridge, which is kind of behind, kind of next to the store. This is a place we love to come to. It's a beautiful spot you can kind of see behind us, hopefully. And um, we take pictures of yarn. Out we here. take lots of pictures of yarn out here because the light is always beautiful. Yep. It's a little pocket of shade at the end of it, and I've been known to enjoy an ice cream there. Um, yeah, so we're, I was like, hey, we should do a podcast on the bridge. So here we are. And fun fact about the bridge, so it is actually not publicly maintained. See, it's live. That was a jogger that just went by. And shook everything. Shook everything. <laughs> That's, it's, yep, we're, we're coming to you live. So this bridge is maintained privately by the Camden River House Hotel. Yeah. And it's awesome because they have these gorgeous flowers that they keep going all summer long. They have beautiful little twinkle lights. And so we feel like it's such a gift to our shop. Really, really. It's beautiful. And it's also at the end of the bridge is the ice cream shop that's right next to our shop. So that's the, um, oh my gosh, River Ducks. It's River Ducks and River Ducks is having its very last day yep. this weekend of the season. I mean, they're gonna be open until the ice cream runs out. Yep, so on Saturday on the 30th. Saturday the 30th, and they have the best soft serve in the land. In the land, I mean, we're not kidding here about it. It's extra good, there's extra fat, and fat means flavor. So <laughs> the 30th is also um, a special day. It is, we are celebrating my third year of ownership of cashmere goat and I can't believe it's been three years uh, I'm very excited to celebrate I invite you all to come to the store and we'll have a few little giveaways we'll have some raffles we'll have some treats uh, it's usually kind of like a party in there on Saturday we're also gonna have the official favorite shop snack available. Oh, yes, we that's are. gonna be really fun. And also um, the raffle, you can participate in the raffle online if you're far away or if you're nearby and you're just like, I can't get to the shop, which is too bad because it's gonna be fun if you can't get here. But you can still join the raffle um, and we are gonna have some great prizes. Um, it's just, last year was so fun for me. I, I felt so, uh, such an outpouring from the wonderful community that is you. Uh, so, it's fun. It's, it's exciting. Fun. Oh, we didn't talk about what we're wearing. I, I thought of it the same thing. So we just <laughs> got right into it. So what are we wearing today? I'm wearing my, I always get confused, throwback. 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 The throwback. It's my throwback sweater from Andrea Mowry which has a different closure, it's a zipper, and um, it's made out of a uh, Kathmandu uh, Aran 100, and it is a dream. Very soft, very comfortable, and lovely tweedy, just like I like. So nice. I've got my shift on. I dug it out for today because it was a little chilly this morning, and it is knit with, let's see, I've got Machida in two colors. The dark, dark blue, I think was Azul Profundo. The, the color changing rainbow, probably Anniversario. Like Anniversario. And then uh, Nimble Sock is the teal. And I'm not gonna try to do gymnastics in a public place right now, but I, I use the rest of my Nimble Sock is for it, some actual socks. Is it oxidized? It's oxidized, which is just such a beautiful color, and I I love it. So that's what we're wearing. That's what we're wearing, and now for what we're knitting. What are we knitting? Um, I have the same thing as last time, and you'll see, I haven't knit that much on it because uh, I've been a busy person, and it's not a lot of knitting time. Mm. This, Look at This is some beautiful stuff. Oh. I love that. So we oh, should hold it up. Oh, yes. So this is my Scudic Bay. Obviously, I need to continue working on it. And I'm thinking the light is catching this beautiful halo right We're now. We're hoping so. This is a mm. lovely yarn. It's uh, West Yorkshire Spinners, a fleece, um, blue face luster. This is the color fell sign, which unfortunately is back ordered right now. But Probably because so many people saw Kristen's sweater and were like, I want it in that color, please. <laughs> yep. And all the, uh, there's a lot of great colors other colors too there's not a well, there's not a lot there are a few colors and they are all great totally but there's not a giant selection 
And they also have the naturals, which are yeah. pretty gorgeous and also would make an incredible scudic. And Alice, the designer of the scudic bay, just texted me a picture of her scudic that she's been working along with us for the knit along. Um, and that's Alice Smith of Birch Tree Knits and she's using fossil and fossil oh, is, is oh, such gray. a beautiful gray and oh my god it looks beautiful i think there was some question for maybe a different knitter who was like is this going to be too dark and no it is not oh it's i want to see lovely. that so yeah it's a great knit and i am loving this yarn this is the favorite yarn that i've knit with in quite a while and uh, you know i love yarn so i always give it my favorite is usually what I'm working on anyways but this is my extra favorite um so what are you working on Iris? Well I am working on a Stephen West shawl it's not the mystery shawl it's not one of his mystery shawls it's called the crosswalk and it's a it's a DK yarn and it has these beautiful, beautiful chevrons going on up here, here. And this is actually yarn that came from Stephen and Penelope, the shop in Amsterdam. I was super lucky. My parents were visiting and they picked up some yarn for me. So this is the new uh, yarn base from the shop called Tandem. I think this is this new DK. It's a non-superwash merino. So it's really squishy, squishy, and I think it's gonna be so fun for fall. And it's not taking me forever because, you know, DK yarn. And how cool is that? She got yarn from Stephen and Penelope. I know, I know, work in a yarn store, but still like, it's a thing. It's a thing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. So, so a few things that are mm -hmm. brand new that we or I am excited about. <laughs> We're excited about. So we have this new yarn and it's a little different for us. It's called Tulla Tweed. It's a Louisa Harding yarn and it comes in several different uh, colors like this that are like a pastel shades and there's a little tweediness on it and I saw it and fell in love with it. Iris did not have the same reaction. <laughs> I told her she can watch me love this yarn. I, that's a new motto. I yeah. will watch Kristen love the yarn. <laughs> um, it's a chainette. And it what is. is the fiber content? It is 49 wool, 26 cotton, 13 nylon, and a little acrylic and a little viscose. And so... It could be know. like that kind of yarn that people want. <laughs> Thank you. That the people want that's kind of a mid-season and we have a lot of folks who are from warmer climates too. Yeah, and I was reading about it and it's the kind of yarn that looks smaller but it folds up. Mm. So it's technically worsted, I heard. Wow. I read about that and but it is a hundred grams and there's three hundred and eighty-two yards. I still am gonna do some swatching. I'm probably gonna do five, six, seven, eight just to see what happens. That'll be nice. Um and then I think I'm gonna make a sweater. <laughs> we'll stay tuned for that. Um, we also just launched today, going live on the website, we have two books. I'm a former librarian, if you didn't know, so this is definitely my jam, book talking. So this is the Fellowship of the Knits, and there's just some really fun, beautiful knits inspired by the Lord of the Rings. There's lots, like if you have a Lord of the Rings nerd person in your life, you should probably look into getting, like look at these mitts, these beautiful, beautiful, like Riders of Rohan mitts, I think they are. So there's some fun things, there's some lace, there's some brioche, there's some beautiful cowls, and so that's one. The other one that we just got, kind of perfect because we're about to be in October, is the Nightmare Before Christmas knitting book. So some incredible um, options here, some really cool mosaic knitting. Um, yeah, so. And so what's, these books are both from Tannis Gray. I don't know how she got two books that came out on the same day. She must have been, and there's a lot of patterns. A lot. She must have been working very hard on these. And these are hardback, and they have such a good, nice, solid feel. Um, similar to the Star Wars books. You were saying that it's more of a coffee I table book too, like, but like there's knits you would make in here. There's a lot of mm -hmm. patterns, but it's also just a fun book to give. It's a fun book to have. It can be just for looking at, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, and so. speaking of October, oh yeah, look at us segueing. This is amazing. <laughs> um, we so in addition, it's a big weekend because we've got our anniversary Saturday, and then Sunday, October first. It's the first day of Socktober, and this is our second year where we're celebrating Socktober. Right. And Socktober is a time to make socks. That's crochet, that's knit, that's baby booties, that's Christmas stockings, and whatever your pleasure. And so we'll be having a discount on sock yarn. If you sign up. If you sign up. We'll also be having, for if you sign up, you'll get access to, we've got some curated Ravelry patterns that we've really been enjoying looking at for socks and some recommendations on where to start. And we've, I've also put together um, a YouTube playlist with a bunch, I mean, there's so many tutorials your head could spin, but some of the ones that I thought might be helpful to folks along the way. Yep. Um, so that starts Sunday. So if you're signed up for our emails, you'll get a Sunday email like, hey, it's October. If you want to join us, sign up and we will be having in-store meetups that are really low key just because yes. people will be knitting. So you can, it's kind of a choose your own adventure. Choose your own adventure. And it's really um, non-structured. You don't have to sign up for when you're coming in. Um, you can come in and stay for a little while or a longer while. Uh, it's really about hanging out and knitting together. Knitting together, Sunday. making this and all the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then also we will also still have Zooms on Wednesdays that I'll yep. be taking care of. And so, you know, it's what I love about October last year when we did it, which was really the kickoff of Knit Along World yeah, for us. It was. But I love just hearing like what kind of sock, what, a toe up, top down, like right. what kind of heel are you using? So it's so also a way to learn and get some ideas yeah. about what I might like to try next. There's apparently a million different ways to knit socks. And also Kristen has been it buying some incredible sock yarn this year that oh, there's a lot of a great lot sock of it yeah there is a lot of great sock yarns um, and yeah we'll probably do some posts about that on, for sure on uh, social media maybe a little reel or something with all the stars all the, the beautiful show. socks we can and then we'll of course do stuff with um the socks that are along the way and there there's a lot of them I mean, I want to start all the new socks, but I'm going to kind of finish my... I'm going to... This is a finish along sock over for me. And it could be a finish along, yeah. yeah. If you've got a sock kicking around and you're like, I need to make the second one. Yeah. So yeah, join us. For sure. So that's kind of it. We just yeah. wanted to hop on. We did. And we wanted you to see our beautiful environment before it gets <laughs> super cold. Mm -hmm. It's definitely cooled down. We've been in the 40s at night. Where Yay. We're, I'm wearing a sweater, you know. It's, it's, and I'm not sweating. It's just uh, yeah, lovely. It's, cool. it's, it's lovely. lovely right now. Yeah. Hello. So, hi. hi. All right. All well, right. thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, you can like, you can subscribe, you can leave a comment, yes. all of the good things. Yes, and uh, sign up for our emails too, so you don't miss out on some of the fun stuff yeah. we've got we going on. We love hearing from you, and so we appreciate that. And all the little like bumpity 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 people coming by so there was just a big one it was a big dog big dog right. and the people yes yeah. and they said hi we've had a few people say hi. i know i saw my friend sue <laughs> hi sue it's kind of funny so thank you so much for watching yeah. bye happy bye. making happy knitting <laughs> yes <laughs> that was great oh my gosh the start perfect Number 11. Except for it's 12. Except for it's 12. <laughs>